All right, good morning, guys. How is everyone doing? All right, looks like yeah, we are gapping up today. Let's see if I will get stopped out of my plug and Tesla. Those are my biggest positions, and they're both short. And who who sent me who sent me a, a bag of Noco and apples and D vitamin? Who was it? Who who sent me a bag of Noco, D vitamin and apples? It's like someone wants me to be healthy at the same time they're enabling me to have my uh, Noco addiction. Fucking assholes. <laughs> They said it in the chat last week. Who? Lodbrok, was it you? No, D vitamin, not B vitamin. Vitamin D. <laughs> hey. Lodbrok is not in the chat. Was it him? <laughs> Everyone knows my address, apparently. <laughs> Sunshine in a bottle.
<laughs> David posted my address online. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Really, really nice of you. Really, really nice of you. Uh. Let's see. I don't really have any. Like, I'm gonna watch plug out of the gate. I'm willing to size down out of the gate if it looks like it's gonna hold the bid. And Tesla, I already ha uh, like I have a really tight stop on that one. So with this strong open, I really don't see any long setups with the exception of potentially some of the crypto names. SI, Mara, Riot, those types. LAC is relentless, holy shit. Just keeps going straight up. Hasn't even touched the 10 day moving average since the move started. Yeah, Mara, Riot, they're both potentially high tight flagging. Or maybe not Riot so much, but Mara, yeah. 10 days just catching up. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, could be, could be. Yeah, Bitcoin looks amazing. B Bitcoin, <laughs> Bitcoin looks. Uh, yeah, it's flagging. Next leg like, higher could go to sixty, seventy thousand easily. It is looking incredible. So plug looks like it may be failing so far for the gap up, but uh, still early. It looks like it's just starting to reclaim these uh, declining 20 and 10 EMAs. So it's a key area for this plug.
Oh, looks like I got stopped out of Tesla. The 60 minute, it put in another higher low. So this thing is actually, it's flagging. It's, it's a bull flag. There's no doubt about it. It's tried to break down uh, on Friday, but uh, it reclaimed. So maybe tomorrow we're going to buy this thing if it keeps up. I really want this thing to go to like 12, 1500. It would be so epic if it does that. Plug just took out opening range lows. So it was very close, um, forcing me to size down by half, but um, not yet. Or actually, maybe I'll reshort some, like half size if it takes out lows of the day. Because if it fails here, it fails at the declining 20 and 10 EMA. We'll see. Roku just keeps steaming higher. What an amazing stock. Why didn't we buy this breakout? Guys, does anyone remember? Did anyone buy this breakout? What, did I buy it? I don't even remember. Did I buy it? I can't remember. That was a five star. <sighs> okay, plug is strengthening now. Okay, I covered most of my plug here. Well, I still have a profit. The China names are really, really strong.
Palantir, I took a loss on it on Friday. Man, this plug is not going to give us an easy trade. I hate this stock. I hate it. Nice if it had just gone straight down to 55, but nope. VLDR, yeah, I've, I have an alert set on it. It's building a nice flag. What's becoming too personal? Plug? No, it's not. I only hate it. That's nothing personal. I hate the stock, not the product. Yeah, exactly, because it's strong, that's why, it's super strong. The strongest stocks, they, they stop above the moving averages. Oh man, this Tesla is going to be so juicy later this week. And this GBTC too. I, I really hope um, Bitcoin can go sideways a few more days. Uh, let the 50 day catch up a little bit, tighten up and then break out and go to 60,000, 70,000, whatever it wants to go to. A million. I, I will be there. Via GBTC. I'm going to load up. I'm going to load up on this thing. Yeah, GME. Funny thing is, I was actually thinking about tucking some away in uh, Interactive Brokers uh, like a couple of months ago. Or not a couple of months ago, like five months ago. Like, I, I even have a note here. I read somewhere that 98% of the float is short. 
that's the day I was thinking about buying it. Did I do it? No. Since then, it's only up uh, over a thousand percent. It's been surfing that 20 and the 50 day. Yeah, yeah, I fixed it. I fixed it. I can log in since Friday. Yeah, well, damn, there's so many of these squeezes going around now, GME. Now, this is a real short squeeze, like if the float, if it was a 98% short of the float, I don't know what the short percent is now, but that's definitely a short squeeze. And also this DDD, they just keep going. They can't go sideways for a few days, give us a little bit of a setup. No, they just go straight up. BBB1 Yes, CP is based on news Breakout is just a technical pattern And then DM looks good. Well, it looked good on Wednesday when it broke out. Now it's not looking good anymore. Only if you're in it. Fuel cell bouncing of the 10 day perfectly. What's BLDP doing? Also very strong, yeah. I just don't see any like solid or, or I, do, I do see some setups but nothing um, gets me like super excited TC2000 operator? What, what is a TC2000 operator? I don't know what it is. Is that a person? Chat person? Chat where? In the platform? In what chat? Yeah, that's weird. What, on their web page? Uh, GBTC, you need to use Arca Edge Route. If, if it's an OTC stock. 
Arca Edge or Vert or Night Fan, I think. I use Arca Edge. Yeah, you should never get give your credit card uh, number to anyone who asks for it. Doesn't matter if it's a support person in the chat or like a chat the window. It, it's like they should never ask for it. They should already have that information if you signed up correctly. Only boomers give away their uh, credit card number. If, if, if you PM David, he's going to give you your uh, his uh, credit card number. Brandy the Ranger account. Well, that's on you, not on Brandy. <laughs> Look at all the PM. <laughs> David, did people actually PM you? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Have I thought of starting a Discord? Well, if you follow the instructions on the screen, you'll realize I already have a Discord. And there's even a link to it. I think the link works. Yeah, the link I have, a, uh, yeah, it, it should be working. It should be working. So right now, so in this is, looks like we're gapping, gapped up and are crapping now. But it's still early on the day. It doesn't really mean anything. Except the plug is strong. And if plug stops me out, well, then it stops me out. It's logical, right? If, 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 if plug stops me out, it stops me out. It's like common sense. Makes sense, right? You're kind of over leveraged. Well, good luck. <laughs> May the trading gods be with you. Looks like Ethereum is already breaking out. So that's why this ETH is so strong. Yeah, I don't think right now is necessarily the market to be like heavily leveraged long. We've already had a big run from the early November and it's, it's weird, you know, the market is getting a bit sluggish. Like I haven't seen many good setups for the past, well, over a week. And a lot of things are very, very extended. So it makes sense to not, not be on a ton of margin. Unless you're both long and short like I am. Uh, but you know, it, 
Oh, looks like I could stop out of SPE. Let's look at this wick together, okay? I can only already see on the 60 minute it was pretty bad. Let's look at it together and enjoy this. Yep, here it is. Here it is. This is the wick. <laughs> oh yeah, let's look at my slippage. Let's look at my slippage here. Uh, oh, not too bad. Only like 30, around 40. 45 cent slippage wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad i thought it was gonna be worse to be honest i love trading size it's the best thing ever ODT, what's that? Um, yeah, it's a decent setup. Yeah, it is a decent setup. Uh, but be aware, this is a micro cap um, or small cap biotech. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it can work. I wouldn't personally, I wouldn't trade it, but it, it can work. But yeah, I, I wouldn't trade it. Just because, you know, looking back at it, it's kind of a shoppy name. It's kind of all over the place, so yeah, that's the reason I wouldn't trade it personally. Laser short, I wouldn't be trading. I wouldn't uh, short it. Short these things. It's still, a, you know, it's a spec. It's uh, you know, like one of these um, EV related stocks. I think whatever. I, I wouldn't be shorting this thing. It can work, but. It has one good PR, it's going to be up 50% pre-market. It's not that good of a setup. It had a good setup here when it was overextended. But this, it's just, yeah, it could very easily just shop around. I would personally not do it. ACRS was a good looking setup. Um, uh, no, not really. Um, like you mean where here I, I don't see, yeah it's, it's, it's an EP today it's not up 164 percent today because it had a potential good setup on Friday or whatever it's up because it had some kind of news that's the only reason it's up it's an EP I don't know what the news are I haven't checked Okay, plug. It looks like it's gearing for another pop to the upside. DM, didn't I sell? Oh no, this is the one I never bought. Oh, this is the one that's working. No, because I, I bought XL last week, got stopped out. I bought, I also had laser. I got stopped out on it, uh, on it on Thursday or Friday. And these didn't work. And DM, I passed on it. I literally passed on it. And this is the one that's working. There you go, trading is so easy. Everyone can do it. <laughs> it is a battery stock. Stop it. They treat they have 3D printing batteries.
GM Meats just got hit by Citron. Yeah, at this point, GME, it's just the short squeeze. There's nothing else going on. I mean, this is... I mean, look at this thing. GME is back at levels from where it was in 2007. Th this stock has nothing go. They're going to be bankrupt in five years, probably less, probably three years or something. Just the short squeeze. I, I, there's no reason for this thing to be up. It's the worst business model ever. Like, literally the worst. They've been so disrupted. It's not even funny. But short term, this thing could go higher. If, you know. That's why trading is so hard. Oh, plug, you piece of... Don't stop me out. Don't do it. LAC is a beast. Do we see a pullback when Biden takes the scepter? Who knows? If you see a pullback, it probably has nothing to do with Biden. It just has the fact that markets are ready for a pullback, based on what I'm seeing. Like, there's just not many setups, like solid setups. And, you know, most, most of the leading stocks, they're kind of either very sluggish or, or extended. Was GME added to an ARK ETF? I doubt it. ARK is all about the future, you know, stocks of the future. I really don't see anything about the future in GameStop. Palantir? Well, that makes sense. If there is a pullback, uh, I would say the pullback will be uh, probably, I mean, just statistically speaking, between 5 to 50%. I, I would bet my money if next pullback is going to be between 5 and 50%. Blockbuster? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, the market. Next time market pulls back, it's probably going to be between 5 and 50%. It's an educated guess. Just going on statistics. That's quite a range. No shit. No shit. <laughs> I mean, if you ask me how big the pullback, the next pullback is gonna be, I have no idea. So I'll give you a guesstimate. It's probably gonna be between 50 and 50%. With 99.99% .99 certainty, it's gonna be between 50 and 5 and 50%. It's as easy as that. 
You don't need to complicate things. Yeah, a, a, a pullback would be nice. I want I want new low risk entries. Like I want these I want like multi month bases to buy off from. Like the biggest move come from bases. Okay, just look at something like Tesla, right? It went sideways for a month. Look at the move it made, right? Went sideways for a month. Look at the move it made, right? Went sideways for what two three months. Look at the move it made, right? That's where you get the big moves. Not when you have like a stock that's been going sideways for three days and they're just randomly breaking out. You know, something like, you know, something like DDD or GME. I mean, you know, sometimes they can make, you know, these smaller types of stocks. They can make big moves off of like very small bases, but you know, that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for these large and mega cap stocks. Like you, if you get multi-month bases, those, those are just, that's where the big money is made for me personally. If Tesla takes out lows today, I'm, I'm going to reshort. Because if it takes out the lows, it will fall back below um, the 20 and 10 EMAs again. Amazon should. Yeah, Amazon, uh, yeah, it's in a big, big flag. You know, either way it breaks, it's probably going to make a thousand percent move. The thing with Amazon, it's not been able to rally in the last market rally. It hasn't participated at all in the rally we've had since early November. Now, that doesn't mean anything. It could pick up later. But, you know, if the market starts rolling over, this thing will roll over, too, pretty hard. Options, options on Baba, call options on Baba. I don't even see a setup in this thing. I don't see anything in this thing. Like, what? What am I supposed to help you with? Call like, like, do you want to do the weeklies, or you know, you want to? be in this thing for six months like how how am i how am i supposed to help you i need more information more information
like instead of asking me like what option op, what uh, opinion I have on like Baba options like what's the setup you're trading what's your time frame like I, I you know <laughs> like, Just randomly buying options, it's not really, I can't help you. I need to at least know your time frame. Anyone else has issues with my ADR formula? Uh, okay. Uh, Three to four months. <sighs> Three to four months. Yeah, sure. I mean, like I would love to lo love to own Baba for the long term personally, if I was an investor. But three to four months. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really an options guy. Nvax, yeah, it's setting up. It, it's it's building higher lows. I kind of like this one for later this week. Nvax. I'm doing speculation. Yes, I'm I'm trading. Yes, that's true. I'm not investing. SI, yeah, it's a high tight flag. No, you know, Bitcoin breaks out. This thing is gonna go to a hundred. I, I am watching it. I am watching it. SI, it's a bit thin, but I'll do some in my interactive brokers account. Wait, Macy's, Nordstrom, what's going on? They're not up on the day. Guys, did you did you uh, shop at your uh, local department store this weekend? You should, guys. QS. Yeah, it's about to lose the 50 day now. Not really liking the look on it. It needs to hold the 50. Maybe undercuts and uh, reclaims. I don't know. I would love to see an undercut in Rick. What's Fubo doing? I sold this one on Friday. Yeah, it's going lower too. Do you have some old clothes? Snapchat has microtransactions now. I sold this one too on Friday. No, on Thursday. But it's it's still building higher lows. It had a big fade, uh, put in under higher low. Now it's kind of surfing the 50. You know, I'll I'll you know I could I could I will easily buy it back if it sets up again. Envax looks really good.
Yeah, XPEV. So it broke out, pulled back to a rising 10 and a 50. It's at the same price, and now it's keep go it keeps going higher. Okay. Why did I buy Ethereum? It didn't show any strength after the open. What? What are you talking about? They took out the opening range size. What are you talking about? Didn't show any strength. Took out the opening range size. Am I wrong? It took out the opening range size. That's called strength. Yeah, Lodbrok. Thanks for the... Thanks for the... Uh, <laughs> apples and vitamin D and uh, Noco. So you, you want me to be healthy at the same time you're enabling my addiction. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's really nice of you. <laughs> yeah. The vitamin D, though, that was really good. I, I've, been, I've been too lazy to go uh, buy it myself. So it's really nice to get delivered to your door. No sun pack. Hey, guys. I know it's too early in the season or in the year, but when summer arrives, this summer, I, I, I'd real, I really want the brocchini, guys. I'm just saying, guys. But I, I really want the brocchini. I'm just saying, a, a brocchini, it's called a brocchini, because I'm going to be uh, on my boat a lot, and uh, I, I want one of these, just saying, just putting it out there. Yeah, person like cro personalized Crocs and uh, bro uh, Brocchini. That's what I want. No, it's not Borat. Borat has a Mankini. That's a Brocchini. So it's a different thing. Damn, Fiverr would have been a nice short on Friday. I passed on it. Or I, it wasn't even really on my radar. But the opening range highs, like guys, if you have smaller accounts, these types of trades can really work out really well. Looks like small caps are weakening here. I can't hide my address. 
You can look up anyone's address in Sweden. There's, an, there's nothing of value at my home anyway, so... Keys to the boat, they're not at my home. <laughs> Asking for a friend? <laughs> sure you are. Pictures of my mansion. Looks like I got stopped out of plug. What a... What an annoying stock. Just couldn't give us a clean move. Like laser, for example. That one gave us a clean move. Looks like I'm getting stopped out of ETH also. Edio, I sold it on Friday, but it had a really good setup here, thirtieth of December, and I closed it. On, I sold it on Friday, close below the ten day. But this is the a stock you probably should trail with the twenty day, I guess. But yeah, whatever. I'm probably gonna regret it, but um, that's what it is. So why is this ETHE fading? Because Ethereum is just really strong. Ethereum it just broke out and is holding the breakout. Yeah, but it's not a market correlated stock. Or uh, it's not a stock, it's like some kind of ETF or something. Yeah, ETHC, it, it, like GBTC tracks, uh, tracks Bitcoin really well, but ETHC does not track Ethereum very well. I don't know why. Like for example, like y you can see ETHC made a big move from like early October to about late December, uh, yeah, late December, and that makes sense. Ethereum made a big move from like early October to late, yeah, late December. This is where, just be before the big move in Ethereum, that's where ETHE topped, and I I don't know why. Like, uh, what what is it tracking? I thought this thing tracked the Ethereum. But it's not really tracking Ethereum really well, so I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. 
Oh, I can't get out of ETH. I bought a few too many, I think. I may have bought a few too many. I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there. Oh my god, I have a bit. Um, I have some difficulties getting out of this ETH. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, it's hard to get out of it. Yeah, it had a big premium, but now it's apparently not as big anymore. Someone said it's only two. Uh, sorry, twenty percent now the premium. That's not bad at all. Oh my god, LAC. Did it have some kind of news? Holy shit, this thing is epic. I know some uh, people in the chat are holding this thing. Including me. Yeah, since 12, I mean since like the very low 13s. <clears throat> I just don't see much to do here. Have I traded today? Oh yeah, I did. I traded Ethereum, ETHG. That's the only thing I traded today. ETHG only 4% premium now? Someone said it was 20. Yeah. Yeah, because ETHG has been going lower at the same time, it, uh, Ethereum has been going higher. That's why the premium is gone. I, I shouldn't have bought 100,000 shares of this thing. I, I, I'm still in it. Like, I can't get out of it. <laughs> I still have a third of my position. Texas Hedge by another 100,000? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. If you didn't lose enough money on the first attempt, double down and see if you can lose even more money. Oh, God. Why don't buy Ethereum? Because I'm not going to wire a couple of million of Coinbase. And buy Ethereum where I can when I can buy these uh, instruments on the, in the stock market. It's just much easier. That's the same reason I'm holding GBTC and not Bitcoin. I'm not gonna wire a bunch of millions out to Coinbase. It's just not gonna happen.
Let me see, what's this? Oh, another SPAC. There's so many. Too many of these. Reno, he's a special trader. He gave you BFT. Why is Reno not giving me any of these things? Ten B. Uh, it's still above. Uh, it's still above the highs of the day. It's, it hasn't failed yet. It was an okay setup, but yeah, again, you know, it's not one. It's not really a market leader or anything. You gave me weeks ago. Why didn't you DM me, guys? Pay safe. I don't even know what it is. You did? No, you didn't. One M. Uh, yeah, it looks like a decent setup. It does. It's one of these telehealth names. Yeah. Ethereum, is it at all time highs? Uh, yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, it is at all time highs. I didn't even realize that. Yep. It is. Ethereum USD is at all time highs. It just surpassed the 2018 peak, the January 3rd, uh, 2018 peak. Candice. Who is Candice? I don't know who it is. Isaiah, no move like Isaiah. I would trail it with a 10 day. You know, you, you should obviously, I don't know, I guess you bought this breakout here. You know, you should have bought, uh, sold, sold a third to half on day three to five. And you just trail the rest with the 10 day. She's a very sexy girl in my trading group. HTBX, it's not a breakout because there's no setup here. It's just a random beaten down stock that's you know up on the day. This this it's not a setup. If you you need to follow the instructions on the screen. This is this it looks nothing like this is nothing, this is not a breakout. NIU, an NIU I never bought. Well, I did buy it on this day here. Then I got stopped out because it just had to take out the opening range lows. And then I never rebought it when it took out the house highs of the day. And here we are. The stock is only up 35% uh, since. Happens. In Seago. Oh, wow, this is a good setup. It's too late to buy now, but yeah. Strong move. Oh, what, what, it was a bit choppy, but it, it was building higher lows and had a little bit of a tighter day, I guess. But not not a super obvious setup. Swap way too. Yeah, Envax looks great. I know. Yep, it does look good. Envax is gonna be a watch. It's a vaccine name. BIL, you mean BILL? -L? Uh, it doesn't look that great. Why I closed to rig? I got bored of it. I had such a small position. I, it was like 1% of my account. I pulled I it here to 212 or something like that. And I sold it like, like 240s or something. 
I just sold it because it was such a small amount. It was like one or two percent of my total accounts. I, I couldn't care less. CLNE. Uh, I don't know what you wrote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 positions. It was too much to handle. I got rid of those. Most of them. Oh, come on. Now ETH is starting to come back. If ETH takes out ice for the day today, it's it's going to be annoying. Because <laughs> I, I need to get back. Go. I need to get my 100,000 shares back. Uh, TARS? I killed t you. I like Tars and six one. Yeah, it looked great. It looked great, but it didn't really have much follow through. But it's an even better setup now. It's it's like this is Tars is a five star setup. This is really good looking, really good looking setup. Doesn't really trade much volume, but it's a good looking setup. ETH started coming back after some whale <laughs> stopped dumping shares. Uh, are you calling me f a whale? Are you calling me a whale? Do you think I'm fat? AQMS. Oh, another one on this battery name, so... Yeah, it was an okay setup. I would have preferred a little bit more sideways. But these, like, micro-cap names, they, many times, they just, you know, rest for a few days and they keep going. My count is fat? Yeah. My cat is fat. Most traders past 40s are fat. I don't know about that. I don't really know many traders. Past 40. Oh man, Celsius just keeps going higher and higher. It's now more than a double from where I bought it initially opening range highs 2850 i think yeah it's, it's up under almost 140 percent since guys you need to learn these setups ep breakouts you need to learn these setups there's so much money they made in this like look at Beely, another ep this one too it's it's more than a double it's up 150 percent from the initial entry Selling them too early, that's a good problem to have. Yeah, Celsius. Uh, well, it's not oh yeah here oh yeah that was yeah i used the 20 day uh, for this one personally but i still sold it somewhere here because i just got bored of it and it was such a small position it was such a thin stock it was only one or two percent of my overall account so i just get rid of it two lynch i don't know what it is et what's that i don't see anything here Chagix, yeah, it is kind of setting up. Actually, it is. Interesting. A few more days of sideways would be nice. Oh, come on, ETH. -E. TTOO. Mm, nah, not, I, I don't like it. It's just a random micro cap. I, I don't see any, any edge here. I really don't. 
Oh, wow, plug is going straight up. Hey, the higher plug goes, the better, I guess. Well, I don't guess. I know it's going to be... I hope this thing goes sideways, builds a flag as another leg higher goes to 100 plus or something. That would be really, really epic. OPTT, yeah, it's a so so setup. I ah, could work. QS. I don't really see anything here yet. Is Cyber too loose? Uh, no, Cyber is looking very good. I like this one. It wouldn't hurt for this thing to go sideways a few more days, but it does look good. It looks really good. It's a really good setup. Four star, four star. If it can go sideways a few more days, maybe tighten up a little bit, it would be a five star setup. DDD for a short. Now, this is where you go, um, this is where you start following instructions on the screen. Like, like th there, is, there is absolutely no short setup here. This, you have no edge shorting it here. You're probably going to get run over. It's just in the middle of a range. Yeah, Faye is a cybersecurity name. And it's flagging, yeah. Another good setup. MMEDF. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Good looking setup. Looks like small caps are shaping up here. But still, like, there's, there's, there's just not many setups among the stocks I'm watching. I'm the liquid ones, WWR, yeah. it's another lithium, no it's a graphite stock, what's PLL doing, that's a lithium name, oh, too bad I didn't buy this one, Oh, ETHC. Are you kidding me? Why can't they make trading easy? Like, why can't every stock you buy or sell just go straight up or down without any of these fake out moves? Too bad Dantes has gone quiet. He hasn't tweeted in like this year, I think. Wait, Dantes. Wait, do you see? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, he hasn't tweeted this year, right? 
You see, LAC, Dantes has been on this thing for a couple of years. Since 2017 at least. Maybe it will also be, uh, if it can go up a few more days towards like 40, 50, that would be a really good short setup. SIG. Nah, the, avoid these. There's no big edge in these types. It's not really a very extended stock or anything. If you want to make big money, you need a big edge. And, you know, trading these slower stocks, it's not really... He tweeted something about mental issues. What, not making enough money on his great picks? Do you have an A, B, thanks? What the fuck does that even mean? Someone on Twitter, on Twitter, on Twitter wrote to me, do you have an A, B, thanks? Uh, no, A, B. Alpha Bravo. The fuck does that mean? Ah, Axe Bulag. <laughs> exactly, I have a CD. <laughs> I have uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ass addiction, that's AA. It also stands for Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah, I mostly covered up. I covered some stuff pre-market and I also got stopped out of plug and Tesla near, near the open. So now I only have very, very little short exposure. But I haven't increased my long exposure since I don't really see anything. Like, I literally don't see anything. Except the ETHE. Why is this thing here? ETHE, that's the only one I see. And some of these, like, uh, crypto-related stocks. One M. Yeah, it's a good setup. Someone already mentioned it earlier. It's a, it's a good setup. Too late to buy now. This is something you need to have your watch list before market opens. It's way too late to buy it now. You, you want to get in as early as possible. Like, when, when was it obvious it was a breakout, right? 
I, I get in opening range highs that was like here, like forty three fifties or so. I don't know if the, it was obvious then it was a breakout, but that by forty four, like low forty fours, it was pretty obvious it was a breakout. So, you know, your entry should be no higher than like low mid forty fours. Now it's way too late. Some guy on Twitter was pumping Kumu. No. IPOE for a short. Yeah, guys, you, you need to follow. This is why I don't want people to touch this setup. Because, you know, you can't, you know, most of you, you won't be identified, you can't just, you know, you, you guys just suck at identifying these things. Just don't shorten the, if you haven't made millions already, don't even try shorting, like, you know, you need a big edge. To short, you need a big edge, you're just gonna get run over. You need to follow the <laughs> instructions on the screen, guys. Uh, Zach Morris? Like this is a horrible short setup. You know, it could go to thirty by tomorrow. It's it's not even extended. Uh, Poen, I don't know what it is. I don't know who Zach Morris is. Master millionaire. Okay, good for him. Plug. What's what's plug? Um, oh yeah, this is the one I was short. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah, it's a Monaco st uh, trader style short. Exactly. <laughs> And guys, if you're new here, you need to follow the instructions on the screen. And also, I, I guess some of you who are already been here, like the chances of not getting muted are is going to go down dramatically, and a lot of your questions will be answered if you follow the instructions on the screen. Like, there's a pretty big chance you will get muted if you if you if you have got muted and you don't know why, it's because you probably haven't followed the instructions on the screen. Let's just say that. Yeah, no, IPO is a horrible short setup. This is not a parabolic short at all. It's it's up what? It's up seven, what, 15% in two days? It's nothing. You, you haven't followed the instructions on the screen. That's the problem. This is not, this is, this no edge in something like this. How do you know you're muted? I don't know. You can't uh, write anymore? Nah. If you, if you break the chat rules, you just get muted for a while. We only ban people who are like... Like really, really, really stupid. Say something really, really, really stupid. I've only banned one person. During the year and a half plus I've been streaming, I've only banned one person. Yeah, exactly. So the only way you're going to get banned is if you have a stock stream on, on Twitch and you come in to my, my stream and start trolling while you're trading, playing poker and, uh, and uh, smoking weed. Th that's the... <laughs> The, the, that's the only person I've uh, banned so far. <laughs> and also, he was watching CNBC at the same time, I think. So he was playing poker, watching CNBC and day trading and smoking weed at the same time. 
that that's uh, that's the only person uh, we banned. <laughs> yeah, life's good. Oh, it's so funny. Hey guys, should we visit other people's streams, trading streams? Look at this. I'm the biggest fish in this category. Look at that. <coughs> hey guys, should should we start trolling other channels? <laughs> I, I'm so bored right now. I should cut the stream, but I want to troll someone. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> now nah, I know. I I'm just gonna check in on some of these streams. Like this one. This is the second biggest uh, stream. Stock Chalk. Let's see what this guy is doing. So he's trading Tesla. With options. With tw 20, 20 puts, right? Well, sell. Uh, wait, 20, 20 calls, is that? Oh no, yeah, it's tiny size. It's tiny size. He's a day trader. He's legit. He's trading tiny size though. Teeny tiny size. Let's look at the third. Stocks, options, crypto and futures. Oh, they do that. They have the whole buffet. So he's trading AMC. Is that Richard Branson? Oh no, it's a CNBC feed. I'm like, wait, is Richard Branson streaming trading? <laughs> oh, I don't have the sound on. It's also trading McDonald's. Okay, all I needed to know. Stock VIP, let's check this one out. I've actually never watched these uh, other trading streams. This is like the first time, with the exception of the guy who's trolling me. He's trading Baba, XPEV, and Tesla, and he's also trading. So this guy has a call order in here for Tesla. One contract. Okay, goodbye. Like th this is th this is the competition I have. This is the competition I have on on Twitch. Who's this guy? This guy is also watching CNBC. Wait. Is everyone trading the same stocks? AMC, PLTR? Millennial motivator? He even has a ro <laughs> it's, it, it, uh, this I don't know what it's called a moving ticker tape or whatever. Oh, he's using Evernote. That's good. This guy actually looks like he has uh, at least some shit together. He had he had a very uh, organized Evernote journal. That's uh, that's a that's a good thing. What is he trading? Um, uh, I can't figure out. There's just a bunch of tickers moving up or down. Some of my alerts popped right now. Tesla. Oh, oh, Tesla took out opening range lows.
I need to get back in on Tesla. It tried to rally, it couldn't. Okay, let's look at more streams. I just want to know what uh, what my competition looks like. Earn with Todd. Hey guys, should I put my face the stock guy? Wait, who's the stock guy? But he's not in this um, in this category. I, I guess he's in another. Co you know? No? Yes. My voice is enough. <laughs> oh. I have a radio face. Oh, thank. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks, guys. You're so nice. Stock guy. The stock guy. Is he trading any size? Um. He even has music. Hey, should I put music on my stream? I never know if I should sell this high. So here's my thing. Here's what I'll say. If you never know... Uh, Saki, hi. Question. You said you're up 100% on your Bama call. Why aren't you just pulling... Okay. I have a, remember, before you go into a play, except for you degenerate gamblers, before you go into a play, whether it's stocks, options, whether it's investment, or anything like that, what you want to do is, is you want to have a plan, right? You have to have a plan, because if not, you're winging it. And when you wing it, you lose, okay? It's like, it's like, you know, you, 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 All right, I bought three Baba calls. I did not play short term. And I three calls? Okay. I need to. I need to get this this uh, shit together for my stream. Like links to all of these things. Social media. Even he has a disclaimer. I need to put this thing on on my uh, on my stream. But the problem is, this guy is probably talking nonstop, right? That's the thing. I will never be able to talk nonstop. You need to be entertaining. Like you need to entertain constantly to have to have that, you know, followings like that. And I just couldn't care less. Invax looks like it's triggering a bit. Oh, do -do -do -do. <laughs> yeah, we want to keep the riffraff out anyway. David already got in. <laughs> yeah. Once the riffraff is in, you can't get rid of them, right? Yeah, exactly. It's better to be a good teacher. That's why everyone needs to follow the instructions on the screen. <laughs> Do I want to become famous? No.
Someone just tweeted I should unban them on uh, Twitch. It's probably just muted. Wait, NVAX. Wait, what's this? NVAX. <laughs> How would I feel if I saw David in other channel? I would ban. I would ban David. Is there any reason why I trade with a Swedish, uh, sorry, US broker from, yes, because Swedish brokers suck. I wish they didn't, but they do. Nah, I'm not gonna raid another stream. No, I'm not. What is INU? It's some kind of AI stock. Wow, the volume on this thing is incredible. INUV, did it have some kind of a PR? Like the, the volumes on these uh, low price stocks, it's it's been like this for almost a year now, it's incredible. Like I said it like, I had a rant about this like six, seven, eight months ago. Like you rarely saw stocks trade more than 100, like 100 million plus shares like before 2020 and now you get them like you get several every week it's incredible INSG, yeah, it was a pretty okay, it's, it was an okay setup, yeah, it was. GBTC, only if you think Bitcoin is gonna hold uh, all this flag. But yeah, it, it is you could anticipate it absolutely. That's something you can do. I'm I'm already long it, but I'm gonna triple my position if it uh, you know if it goes sideways a few more days. But actually, Bitcoin itself is starting to it's actually pretty strong on the. It's starting to break this wedge. It's going higher now. Relentlessly been building higher lows, just as uh, and GBTC also. It's been rentl relentlessly building higher lows. Just clearly see these higher lows here. Bitcoin moves the most on Wednesday, Thursday. Do you have any data on that?
They put out 318k one year target on Bitcoin. Unless they're heavily long, it doesn't mean anything. The only thing I care about is that uh, institutions have started bu buying Bitcoin. Before it was just retail, and now you know there's you know pension funds starting to buy it, hedge, hedge funds. That's the big difference from last time. You're in long doggy coin. Brrr. BRR. No, B BRR, Bitcoin futures contract. Or I got just or I got just trade GBTC. Can you recommend sites for viewing earnings and guidance? Uh, I have Finwiz, I guess. Finwiz, um, Saks. Um, what more? I don't know. I guess those two. Those are free. Coifin is free too. Why don't you want to use Coifin? RPH. Um, ah, it can work, I guess. It's a nano cap, uh, have some kind of a pharma or whatever. Uh, it could work. But it's more, it needs, it's not really, this, these types are not like institutionally supported stocks. They kind of need a pump to get going usually, like these really small ones. Yeah, I know about NVAX, it looks great. I've been talking about it a lot today. NVAX does look good. ETHC, well, I guess I'm back long. It better not stop me out again. It better go to 50 now. It needs to build up premium again. Cyber? Mm, yeah. I would prefer a few more days of sideways. Who would I recommend as good educators for new traders? Uh, me. Other than me, um, uh, Pradeep at Stockby, he has a lot of good content. NVAX, um, mm, I don't know, I would prefer more sideways. Is WWR going now? Yeah, yeah, I bought some, but um, it looks like PLL looked like uh, a couple of weeks ago when it broke out of this multi-month range. Big volume, or not that, like that big volume, but it's obviously it's not gonna, it's it's gonna be above average. It's already above average, so at the end of the day, it's gonna be a pretty decent volume candle. All of these, you know, battery-related things. You know, or not all of them, but a lot of them, they're just very, very strong.
except for QS. Yeah, NIU is the one I got away. I can't believe I actually bought it. Got stopped out. It just had to take out the opening range lows. It just had to, and then it went. Okay. Scooters, what scooters? Yeah, seeking alpha, you can get earnings data. But I, I don't know if you want earnings numbers or just earnings releases. Uh, Tesla, it is a potential high tide flag, yes. It's definitely not a parabolic. NIU electric scooters, I don't know what they do. Scooters, NIU scooters? In Sweden? I don't know. I don't know who makes those scooters. Uh, Norwegian cruise lines setting up. Uh, mm, yeah, maybe for later this week. These uh, cruise lines and airlines are not going away. They had failed breakouts last week on like Thursday, Wednesday or, or Thursday. But they're not all going down either, it just fell back into range. Yeah, CCL is setting up, absolutely. It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So Tesla is now below the uh, declining 20 EMA again on the 60. I, I shorted, I reshorted about 90% of what I had before. Uh, all, well, like what I had over the weekend. But I wouldn't want to, I'm, I'm not going to add anything more unless it starts losing the 10 day moving average. Because it's still kind of building higher lows. So it's, it's in the middle of a range and you can just get chopped up trading a range like that. It looks weak and the next day it's going to stop me out and then it looks strong and if it falls back into the range and then it, you know... Exactly, stonks only go up until they don't. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna play some Hearts of Iron 4 after this. Things have really slowed down. 
Any one of you guys play Hearts of Iron 4? It's a World War II simulator. Crusader Kings? I have Crusader Kings 3 also. But I haven't played it yet. Hearthstone? Hearts of Iron? Yeah, it's actually, it actually sounds close. It's true. DLC policy? I don't know about their DLC policy. Yeah, I'll play Cyberpunk 2 in Yeah, 100 days is really a small sample, you can probably just, it, it doesn't mean anything. You should aim to go back, you know, at least, you know, 1000 days plus. Chivo for a parabolic short, but it's day one. What are the rules for for uh, parabolic shorts. What are the rules for parabolic shorts? Yeah, those who caught the breakout, I guess, on this day here. Yeah, great job, really, really, really good job. It, w it looked a bit wide on the on the on the daily, but on the sixty minute, it 
It looked, uh, it looked, wait, where is it? Where did it break out? Oh, here. On the 60 minute, it looked much better. Built higher lows and uh, then it had this tight range here and it had range expansion and it's straight up since. Could be a parabolic short uh, tomorrow. If, especially if we can close strong and gap up tomorrow. It's also very liquid, at least today. It wasn't that liquid last week, but... Well, I would prefer this thing to go to 15.20 first, though. Man, this MSTR is gonna go... Oh, I'm green on my ETH now. My, my rebuy. I did anticipate it a little bit. I hope it breaks out. GLXY. Um, I would prefer a bit more sideways. Mm, it could work, but a little bit more sideways would be even better. Bingo. Is Bingo taking out low? Oh so yeah, it is. This is day three. Like Bingo is a good short setup. It was up two days in a row, like it had a big move higher, pulled back, went sideways, another move higher. And this today is day three, you know, gapped up, couldn't rally. It's been building lower highs and it's losing VWAP. It's too, you know, that was the entry when it lost VWAP after losing, you know, it's a good risk reward setup, like risk like what, 50 cents to make three bucks. Good risk reward. I don't have any minimum preferable market cap. It's all about liquidity. Now do 10,000 days on Bitcoin. No, wait, that's a long time. Like 5,000 days. So, you know, if you could do that back test, anytime you back test something, like, I don't get it. Some people just do these short back tests. Like, it's pointless. You gotta go back to the big, as far back as you can. Oh, now WR. WR is going. Oh, I should have bought more. Should have bought more shares. Okay, I'm gonna cut the stream now. This is too slow. It's it's so slow. I'm falling asleep. Uh, thanks for joining, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck. Don't do anything stupid. Don't don't short something on day one, guys. And don't go full marching on one stock. Okay, good luck, guys. See you tomorrow.